Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. All right, so I'm here in my uh, crafting area because uh, Jahan actually has something that he wants to say to us. So let's go ahead and see what that is. Mm, interesting devices, these pygmies among pyramids. They may be small of stature, but their potential is gigantic. Deceivingly clever. It is a trait all demonic machinations share. Yes, demonic. So very obvious to the trained eye. These apparatuses have been forged among the voids of the outer realms where the light of stars does not reach. I think he's talking about those teleportation pyramids that we have. I'm not sure. You do well to treat them with the utmost care. Perhaps it would even be for the best if you sling them into the reaches of infinity that surround the shelter plane. Better safe than sorry. It is an uncommonly trite thing to say, but it applies to all things demon dreamt and devised. Eh, I'm sure it's fine. If demons made these pyramids, then you're right. We should tread with care. You're looking a, a gift horse in the mouth, Jahan. These pyramids are a wonder, and we'll use them to our advantage as much as possible. Exactly. How I pity you. You have a mouth, but do not taste. Eyes, but do not see. Ears, but do not hear. So let me. I mean, you have a head, but do not clearly, think, so. Hunter, that you must always remember, always, that when demons are in play, you are the hunted, and that it takes stupendous cunning and strength to escape their snares. All right. First of all, you need to actually show me proof that these are made by demons and that there are demons involved. So until you can do that. Why don't you shut up? The very moment you are certain you have them in your grip, that is the moment their traps spring, and it is their grip that shatters your soul. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Dueling with demons is like playing chess against an opponent with queens for pawns. They sit and grin while your pieces slip in the sweaty fear that drops from your beleaguered brow. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Don't worry. All right, so a little bit of dialogue. He had a little bit of dialogue as well, uh, I think, about Silver Glen when I first got him back in my party, but I didn't feel like it was worth uh, specifically showing that off. Besides, Jahan sucks. Uh, so I made some various items. I made some uh, grenades and things like that. Part of it was to specifically get recipes. Um... I got uh, recipes for various arrows and stuff like that. I do have, like, uh... Well, let's see. Alright. Uh, I thought I made some actual arrowheads, but... Uh, so you can actually make arrows out of uh, an arrowhead and an arrow shaft. You don't want to do that. It's a bad idea. Um, and I'll, I'll show that in a moment. Uh... These are just, uh... I don't know why these are listed as potential combinations. I have done those. Maybe it's because I didn't do them. Maybe it's because Jahan did them. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, no, it's because Jahan has done them, not me. That's so stupid. That is really dumb. That's... That is dumb. <laughs> Oh, Lord. All right. Um, it's okay, though. Whatever. He, he's our crafting dude. Um, so, uh, arrow. Four AP to use. Are you sure? Normal arrows are limitless, but special arrows are not. Try a better combination with the arrowhead before creating an arrow. So, yeah, you get a lot of arrowheads, and you need to combine them with something else to make, like, a fire arrowhead and stuff like that. Uh, if you just make an arrow, you just make an arrow. It is functionally no different than just a straight-up attack, so... You don't do it. Don't do it. It's it's not wise. Uh, also, quills, those can go over to you before we uh, dump you. I think that is it for now. Alright. Oops. It's a waypoint. I said, let's waypoint. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, let's go back to the end of time, where we are going to deposit our uh, <clears throat> friends. 
to be fair, Woolgraph is fine. It's just that you don't really need uh, all the thiefy stuff. I mean, it, it like it's one of those things of like, do you want to have a? Oh, hey, Arhu's here now. There's still an empty chair here. Do you want to have a situation where? Um, Tell me, forced. Oh, if you know all that is past and present. Does that mean you know the future as well? Alas, no. I can predict with a degree of certainty, but I cannot speak of what is to come unequivocally. Time and I are one, but we must both run our course before reaching reality. Uh, we'll come back to uh, talk to him in a moment. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's, it's like a, a one of those things. Do you want to have a game where you have to have uh, thief skills, thief, a thief along kind of thing? Or do you want to have it set up so that you can have other options if you don't have a thief? The problem is, is that that then sets up the thief to be irrelevant if you feel confident that you can get around the thief needing to be there kind of thing, you know? Um, you call to Ulbra. He awaits your wall graph gives a curt there you go Damon Daemonium I'll find you yet do you now yours is this mistake to make there we go careful comrade I think I sense a source my hand to your call so yeah it's, it's like I don't know <clears throat> that is how can I help you my friend Bear daughter seems about to leap up and grasp you in her arms, but thinks better of it and silently stands at attention. Yeah, that should not have been uh, a voice line. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it it, it kind of makes uh, it, it either makes them required or it makes them redundant. Whereas fighting things, there are so many different ways that you can fight things, kind of thing. When everyone else's tasks are basically fighting things. A question has me stopped, milady. Why are they Source so Hunter? Welcome. Welcome. Uh by all means. No, alright. He is just saying the same old, same old. Ooh. Um, do you don't care about that actually. Where you arrive at conclusions. I spin origins besides. Don't don't mind me, just uh just checking for goodies. Doesn't actually look like it. there is anything I don't want. Alright. He does not have anything uh interesting to say. Alright. So, uh we were the weaver of history. The forest, frozen forest. Um, I was looking, and it is kind of recommended to do Hyberheim at this point. Um, I thought it was a little bit higher level, uh, and it came after all of the Lakula Forest stuff, but it's kind of uh, in between. So I think that we will do this now. Uh, I do not recall when... I feel like we should have seen the White Stag somewhere else, although maybe it is also... not. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, let's take a quick look at the map. King Boreas. I've not been there. This is where the, uh, the well is. So we could probably, uh, go... Over and do that. Let's see. All right. I like how the uh, <laughs> shadows are half loaded in and half not. Uh, a shambling oak. All right. Before we go down there and fight that, can we go talk to the bunny. Bunny, bunny. The woman in red has done it now. All the elemental monarchs gone. All but the Winter King. 
Okay. Well, we have a slain wolf here. Let's go see what uh, else we have. There's oh, another no, one, a couple more up there. Got some intestines. Animal hide. Some bluegill mushrooms I'll pick up in a second. More intestines. Back onto that. Immaculate Wolfmaster, Fabrizio. What is up with that deer? Good lord. Alright. You're saying things. Uh, but I do need to actually uh, swap some stuff around. Um, let's go send that over to Bear Daughter. Send that to Medora, that to Medora. There we go. Uh, anything else? Oh, um, send these to Homestead. I don't think I can use them. I, they look like uh, sticks, but I think they're a little bit different. There we go. That to Bear Daughter. That is all the foods. So send that to Bear Daughter. Send that to Medora. I did make a few uh, holy hand grenades. Um, also, the uh, love grenades are the only ones in that kind of con uh, canister. So I made some of those. And plague grenades. Send that to Medora. So yeah, I ended up with a lot of silver arrows. A lot. That is perfectly fine, though. And... Armor piercing? No, those are nail bombs. All right. on there. All right. Let's see. You are level 11. You're level 11. It looks like there's not a whole lot else there, but uh, I do kind of want to go this way first. See if we can maybe do something about that, uh, um... Got some corpses there. Let's come over here. Hi, dear. Wait, wait, wait. Dear. Do you have anything to say? Careful of those great big crystals. Hyberheim's most dangerous criminals are kept there. Okay, I'll go break them all. Let's see, you've got a barrel, a crate, some more barrels, some corpses. So let's go ahead and see what we got else around here. Uh, Sword of Holy Flame. All right, well, we're definitely going to go look at that in a second. There's a love arrow. Some interesting things. Slow arrowhead. 88 gold. Nothing else. And I'm not seeing anything that I can pop up. I can start that so that we are no longer chilled. Okay. Slow arrowhead. That can go into that one. Uh, let's see. So we've got uh, Sword of Holy Flame. That is Strength 12, Level 13. 
Uh, centuries from now, the sword will be forged in the fires of the uh, Patriarch. It will be used uh, by a legendary Dragon Knight to reforge a lost empire on the brink of destruction. This is the only sword to have no known to have uh, traveled back in time. All right, plus one constitution, 19% fire resistance, plus one willpower, plus 0.6 movement, plus 38 hit points, 20% chance to set burning status for two turns. Lots of damage. That's pretty good. Go ahead and hold on to that, Medora. Just casually in one of those things. Just, just casually in one of, in a thing. All right. Well. Oh, actually. Also. Fair daughter. Fair daughter and fair daughter. There we go. All right. It's so cold here. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, you've an awfully brazen way of sauntering up to a beast who'd snap your jaw off your skull for a little more than a kind look from yours truly. How is that? See, it's one of the uh, downsides of that uh, um, that helmet, that hat, uh, the Rift Oglers, is that sometimes enemies and uh, monsters will become <laughs> just wireframes like that. Uh, hey, Hilda, uh, do you have anything that uh, I want? Why is that so expensive? Well, I don't care that much then. Tell me, stranger, are you always such a boob hardy boob? Bravery born of ignorance is hardly better than cowardice, as far as me and my little pet here are concerned. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Dang it, I can't I can't swap my equipment. <laughs> I'd worry less about bravery and cowardice and more about imminent demise of your big dumb friend. So I'll have a bonus to intimidate. I hardly meant to start a fight. I beg of you for a bit of mercy, Charm. Or uh, whether I am a hero or a coward, I, a fight will accomplish a little more than draining both our parties of precious time and energy. And that will be a, a penalty. Let's go with intimidate then. Intimidate 5, intimidate 4. Well, shucks. I'm getting a bonus, but she's still better. Dang it. That's not good. All right, so, um, I went rock, you went paper, so you beat me. Uh, so you're going to think that I'm going to go for scissors. Um, and because of that, you're going to go for rock, but you know that. So you're going to expect me to go scissors, I mean, uh, uh, paper. Uh, so I, which would be... <laughs> oh well. Hilda won this argument. <laughs> Did you hear that, you big dumb termite nursery? The stranger fancies a fight. To the death, then. Okie dokie. The blood will serve our stones. So we got a shambling oak there. We got uh, the deer is in the way. We got Hilda. There we go. There we go. Let's get Nick over there. All right. Good. You've run off. Let's see, Razzle Dazzle Grenade, no. Firestorm Grenade. That would hit Nick. Oh well. Oh, stupid tree. 
was not supposed to happen. Well, that hit Nick, but uh, did do some damage on them as well. Uh, I could actually... There we go, got you. Now go ahead and come around. All right, Bear Daughter, uh, let's see. that. Okay, you're going to uh, attack uh, Nick. That's fine. You're going to, uh, like, boost him up in some way. Elemental absorption. You're going to slow Nick. And what is that? Curse? Or fear? Oh, I think I'll go for the eyes this time. Yep. All right. You're afraid. There we go. There's that. Okay. There we go. And Medora moved slightly. Okay, you did uh, some water. I think you're trying to... I think that has frozen that area, but... Die, Marvin! All right, one down. Okay. Oh, good. You're uh, no longer afraid. Excellent. You're dead. Not enough action points. All right. Let's try... That and take you out. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get uh, Medora healed up a bit. Let's see what goodies you have over here. Oh, well, uh... There's Water Essence. Take the, uh, Augmentor. Stout Robe, Snow Boots, and Shambling Oak Death Wand. All right, so let's see. We've got uh, snow boots, immunity to slipping. That's actually not bad. I don't necessarily need the um, lucky charm right now either. Get those on. Uh, robe, not very effective. I'm probably just going to end up selling the uh, the arrow. It's only going to fetch me like one, but there's no real point in keeping it or using it because it's the same as attacking. Although I suppose argue like it might actually be really good for a powerful uh, if you've got a powerful bow. I wonder. Let's actually try that. Um, that's plus one due to level difference. Uh, okay, that might be a way to get around the level cap, actually. is something to uh, consider. Neat. Alright, we got something in there for sure. A 
Azia. It's frozen. Oh, and Snow Wardens. Oopsie. It's drawing time. Are you are you on my side? You are. Alright. Well, I guess we'll talk to you afterwards. But uh, we got snow wardens. So let's send out a friendly neighborhood. Flies to this queen. Spider. Spider. All right, what are you gonna do? Okay, knockdown failed. You're hopping down there. All right. They're basically the uh, ghouls that guard the lighthouse in like appearance and everything. Oh, nice! We got the crit. Nero, nice. Oh, 395, so good. Here we go. What are you going to do? Okay, you've frozen uh, him. That's okay. Going after my spider. You're going to freeze my spider. And yeah, that's just rude. It's just rude. A million tiny pieces. Boop. And you're dead. That is, uh, that is a weird way to uh, die. Break up like that. <laughs> right, back up. Can, can I not? Fine. No glory in this. There death. we go. Oh, there, Crystal Shatterer. Hyzia is in your debt for his freedom. I am beholden to you. Yes, so much so that I will leave your liver where it is, and thereby is my debt erased. I don't think it works that way, sir. I wonder how you got here, a common human in the land of fairy, upon the snowy soil of Hyberheim. You must have found a rift of some kind. Oh, very, very in. Interesting. Uh, I did, kind of. Also, I just realized that I probably should have got bought that uh, Book of Fairy at some point. Uh, the snowman called you Hyzea the Disemboweler. Care to elaborate? Ho, ho, ho. My pet name speaks for itself, does it not? I just love it, don't you know? Love to dig right into plump little bellies with my bare, clawing hands and drag the innards out into the daylight. Oh, the deep, deep satisfaction. All right, you're weirdo. To hear the howls of my ravaged honeys. To see them strewn about all inside out, and me standing over them, huffing, puffing, panting, pumping. Oh, the deep, sweet stains of satisfaction. Okay, we're going in an entirely different direction than I was expecting, and we should not go that way, please. Uh, have you seen the Wardens in charge of a woman, the White Witch? Not the snowman, no. Common humans like you, dressed in cloaks and heading for the castle of King Boreas. That can mean but one thing. They are taking her to his prison. She looked very inviting, by the by, this woman. 
One whose liver I could suckle for blissful hours. Okay, sorry, you're not going to get to do that. Uh, tell me more about King Boreas. King? <laughs> what a farce. A fool he is, for he is a jailer, and a jailer spends all his time in jail. A taker of freedom is he, and for what? Because some indulge in rather outlandish passions. Yeah, that's not what you do, sir. Got a pig and bucket its blood to make black puddings with, then you're an honest butcher. Got a girl and do the same, and all of a sudden you're a maniac. Talk about your double standards. You're, you're leaving a, a very particular element out of that. Uh, what do you know about this place? Only that it is a vast realm filled with soft, big-bellied creatures. And here was I just looking on, wanting, desiring, craving, lusting. Yes, I am beholden to you. Viewers, I'm going to be honest with you. I hope he decides to change his mind when we're done with this conversation so I can murder him. Uh, Boreas' prison. I need to get in somehow. Perhaps you know of a way? I know of a way, for I was there once, sent to face the Iron Maiden. Of course, those silly snowmen had not foreseen I would not fit inside her prickly physique. So I was encased in crystal instead. Looked more like ice, but whatever. Boreas himself brought me to his dungeon through magical means, but the wardens led me out through a hidden tunnel. Too sure they were, it seems. Too sure no crystal shatterer would ever pass by. I know where it lies hidden, this secret tunnel. The secret can be yours if you show me the rift. Yes, you must have come through a rift, tell me, so I will be free to delight in the dance of disembowelment once more. Tell me, and the secret will be yours. You must be the vilest psychopath I ever met. I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to kill you. Very well, uh, tell me about the location of the tunnel and I'll give you a spell to open the rift. Nope, nope, you must be the vilest psychopath I ever met. And I. Let's see how you like it to be disemboweled. Yeah, way to go, Hanako. Suit yourself, little shatterer. The time has come for you to be shattered. It's time to claw and drag. Oh, he's going first. Attack of opportunity. What? Oh, because she got the... Oh, it's rude. And of course, she's the one that uh, brings people up. There. Ow. Wheel. So many arrows, so Exactly. I need to speed things up. All right. Well, let's haste myself. Uh, now you were able to be frozen. So there we go. Nice. There we go. This arrow may not look like much. Okay, I mean to knock down. So you're no longer frozen. Stun failed. All right. But I can try slowing you. That worked. Probably should have healed her. You need to knock down. Stun failed. So he's not immune to a stun, it just didn't work. Ooh. 
Alright, I do have Head Vice that I haven't really used a whole lot. Blinded status, try that. And we could also just murder him. Nice. All right, Medora, you didn't do a whole lot, but that's okay. All right, let's see. We got uh, Stout Metal Bracers, Water of Life Scroll, Unidentified Balanced Long Dagger, Unidentified Tough Leather Boots, Wooden Log, Wood Chips, 141 gold, 128 gold. And we have a chest up here. So we'll go ahead and check that out, and that will uh, bring us to an end of the episode. A lucky break. All right, explosive arrow, a charming arrow, uh, tough leather boots, and a curved sword. And we have the guardian down there. That, I did not mean to do that. Hit the wrong button. All right, get that back on. All right, so we got uh, The Guardian. He's looking a little bit less uh, purple-faced than uh, before. And this is getting to the well, so... Uh, that's what we're going to try to do next time, I think. See if we can free that well. Um, although I do remember that there were some crystals over here that I never broke, I think. Where is it? Not there. Yeah, over here. I might want to go break them just to see if we get anything out of it. So let's go ahead and head that way. So when we come back next time... We will uh, continue on to uh, see if we can free that well that uh, we haven't... Oh, oh, we got something with Medora, it looks like. Uh, actually, that'll, that'll wait. Uh, we will do that for next time. See you then, everyone.